All righty. Coach Dameron, an absolute shutout win tonight against VUL. Give me your thoughts on today's win, and then I'll head it over to the media. Oh, I was happy. You know, I thought, you know, I thought we did what we should have done. Uh, you know, we knew that we knew that this was one that we should win. We didn't really know what to expect from them because we didn't have you know, much information. On them. You know, I was happy with the way our kids executed all through camp. And first game, you know, first game's always tough. So very excited. Uh, it's good to see Lyndon come out here and operate. It's good to see our defensive kids. You know, we're young defensively. It's kind of a <clears throat> turned a little bit from my first couple of years here. We've been a defensive dominated team with a lot of older kids on defense. And so we've kind of flipped now. So the offense will have to carry the ball a little bit so, uh, until the defense gets ready to run. The, uh, talk about the old line here, too. I mean, just, yeah, they did a good job. You know, we, uh, you know, we knew. This is the first time we've, been, we've, you know, we've returned a lot of experience. You know, Derek Cobbins got a lot of football under his belt. Kyle Krajewski's got a lot of football under his belt. And Eamon Sullivan and Ethan Anderson got a lot of college football under their belts at junior college level. You know, so we've got a lot of, a lot of experience. And you know, Coach Compton does a tremendous job. And you know, we feel like that we're catching up with, you know, with people with the linemen that we're really able to recruit because that's always been our, our toughest area to recruit. So we, we feel like we're doing better. So they did a good job of that. Those receivers, like Hicks Dogs had to get from Utah State, you got a lot of guys kind of transitioning into a new place, so it's like, but they pick, pick it on pretty quick, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, those receivers like to do two things. They like to run a catch, you know, so it doesn't matter whether they get a chance to do it. They're going to kind of do it well, you know. So I thought that, you know, Caleb Martin was kind of a forgotten man all through camp, but the J.J. You know, Kaderi Singleton, you know, were kids that you know, didn't get a chance to play last spring, and you bring Hicks to him. We've got a we've got an embarrassment of riches there. And, you know, we just got to come to us and just got to do a great job and you know not try to call plays to get ball to get the ball to certain people. Just call plays because we got a lot of people that get the ball. To. Coach, let me ask you: You got ETSU next week. Just I know the guys are really excited for that opportunity. What is what is next week's game? What does that mean for this program? Playing somebody that's not on your schedule on a regular basis. Nah, I, mean, it's just, I mean, it's just the next game. You know, but we're to we're to them what this team was to us today. You know, so. We've got a we we would have to go in there and play a perfect game and uh, and have them help us. But but we know that it's a winnable game. We know I've been a, I've been involved in a lot of those games in my time in Eastern Kentucky. You know we had a we had University of Kentucky beat. And, you know had a little on the ropes at Indiana beat beat Wow well, and had Kansas State beat. You know so we'll show up. You know Coach Sanders has done a good job there in his time and built a really good program. But we'll show up. Do you think of it at all as like a you know also as a way to get exposure for UVA wise of people that wouldn't think of it otherwise when you're playing a school like them playing in front of people that maybe wouldn't have seen you guys before well I mean I, I don't I don't know it's necessarily that since it's in Johnson City because you know that's where we're covered sure anyway. I mean I get to question I think I think it's a, I think it's a good question to ask when you're playing somebody from out of your area I think that that resonates a little bit more if, if we go down there and get beat like we won today then it's not going to matter if we go down there and beat them then it's going to matter you know the people are really it is good for the area because, you know, you would think, you know, for the, for the next seven days there's going to be a lot of people talking about UVA wise, and, and, and that's a good thing. You know, there's, there's no bad publicity. And we're excited about the opportunity, and our kids are, our kids are excited. That's good. How are you guys? Start around first start on defense there. Yeah, you know, I've been working for it all summer. Showed up a month early, started lifting and running in the summer, and it's all paid off, and I'm just glad to be in this position. Talk about getting your sack on the day that you break the sack, right? Yeah, that was great. You know, uh, something, you know, I worked, I worked very hard for it. You know, you know, I don't really go into the game trying to get a certain amount of sacks and tackles. You know, all my teammates, you know, they set that up for me, and it's a team effort. And I just want to thank them for being a part of that. Was there some nervousness there, and then you just sort of get that first hit and you're back in the game? Or just... well, a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, but definitely the first couple plays, you know. But once you get that first hit, it wears off, and you know, and just settle in and make some plays after that. Let me ask you. I asked some of your teammates this already, but just you guys get ETSU next week. How excited are you guys for that opportunity? Somebody that's not, you know, on on your schedule on a regular basis. Yeah, you know, this will be my first time playing a Division One program, so. I know a lot of people are pumped for that. You know, there's going to be a lot. It's going to be their opening night, so there's going to be a lot of people there, and we're really looking forward to it. Uh, I wasn't recruited by ETSU, so I'm looking forward to showing them a little bit and what this program's about, and you know, 
we're we're coming in as the underdog, so there is no pressure on us, and we're looking forward to shock the world. Do you go in with a chip on your shoulder, knowing, hey, these guys didn't recruit me? Or? A little bit, yeah, and so does everyone. You know, there's a lot of guys on the team that weren't recruited highly at the Division One level, and you know, that's a that's a, almost everyone's dreams coming out of high school is to go play D1, and you know. It's just our, it's our opportunity, uh, same as theirs. We look at it as a big opportunity for us to get a win. You got a lot of targets out there, don't you, Landon? Absolutely. We, uh, we have a ton of big big targets, big playmakers, and it makes my job easy just to be able to get the ball to them anyway and, uh, you know, just let them make the plays. It, it makes makes my job really easy. Did you work with them in off season? It looks like you got chemistry already. There was there were a few guys that I actually came back in the summer, um, and there were a few guys that came back, so we were able to get a lot of work in. Um, and then... Coach uh, Hex, Devin Hextel, he, uh, we knew he was transferring in, and he actually came down to Kingsport a few weeks early, and, and I got some work with him. Wow, PB or something? Yes, sir. We went to Dobbins Bennett. Those guys are tall, too. That's a good target. Though. Absolutely. It, it makes a, it's definitely a matchup advantage for us to, to be able to just throw it up, and they can jump as well. So um, just for them to be able to go up and make plays. Ask, you ever had a game? You're close to all that muscle school records. You ever had a game like this on video? Or <laughs> no, sir, I have not. And I just kind of let the game just come to me and just not focus on that stuff and just go and play. So the, the line did a great job blocking all day long. And, uh, you know, the receivers made plays. I, I didn't make any any big time throws. They did all the work. So it's a, it's it's all all thanks to them. Score, I let him off with his high score and his dynamic. Highland Cavs win. Mike Ramondi and the Cavs will be on the road for their next two games at ETSU next Saturday at 7 30 at Morris Hill at 1 p.m. on September 18th. Um, well, I mean, I played at Hackley here at Carson Newman on September 25th as we take on Carson Newman again as a new kickoff. Me and Landon Tomahe and Travis and everyone. And as always, we'll see you next time here at the stadium. I know you guys have ETSU next week. How excited are you guys for that challenge to go down there and just kind of the opportunity to play those guys? Oh, I'm extremely excited. I know they're excited as well. And so, uh, we know we got to get back to work as soon as, uh, as, soon as we get back on Monday. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. But I know I, I can speak for myself. I'm extremely excited because uh, I transferred from Utah State playing D1 and I never really got the shine that I deserved at the D1 level. So this is going to be my last D1 game playing against them. So I'm definitely going to give it all I got from my, from my standpoint. I know my guys in there are ready. We're going to take them on full on. We're going to prepare as best as we can. We're going to do our thing.